Do you want me to? Oh, it's all white over there. Boo! <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, we are going to be using the Aerial Silks today for a workout. A lot of you guys have these, and you think about swinging upside down, and I love doing all that. But what makes these things really incredible is all the extra stuff you can do. So today we are going to do that. And we have my friend Patty in the background who has just ordered herself silks but never used them. So she wanted to learn and this is how we're going to learn. If you if you order these off of Instagram, awesome. If you haven't yet, go ahead and do that um, because they're worth it. All you really want to worry about is where you anchor them. Make sure you anchor them into a load-bearing beam so that you can flip around. And if you have them, let's get started. We're going to start from the bottom up. So I want you to lay down. Always make sure your hammock is under your anchors. So if I wanted to adjust, I never adjust the hammock. I adjust myself. So I'm going to scooch back just a little bit so I can bend my knees and come into a bridge. So my heels are in and my toes are up. Back of my hands are reaching up to the sky and I'm going to bridge. So I'm lifting my hips up and rolling my shoulders under. Neck is completely soft. And first we're going to stretch them hamstrings, so we're going to extend and pull, reach and come back. Three, four, and one more. So I'm just hopping down because I did need to scooch in a little bit. And right back up, so we're in that bridge. Extend your right leg high. Your left hamstring is on fire right now. Feel that? <laughs> and we're going to pulse up. Five, four. Feel the glutes working. Three, two, and one. Keep that right leg straight and lower it halfway down and pull it up. Again, exhaling as you come up. Yowzers. Four, and five. How you doing, buddy? Oh my god. Yeah, right? These things are killer workouts. Bring your left leg up and pause. So we're doing five, four, last one, and lower. And pull it up. Big exhales, you come up. Four, and five. Bring it back into the silks. Get back into that big bridge. Hold it there for one breath. And lower down. Woo! All right. So we're starting to warm up the old hammies, I would say. So we're going to turn it around. And now you're going to get a nice uh, big square ass coming at you. Um, instead of my heels in the hammock, we're turning around, we're coming into push-ups, so my toes will be tucked in. You can see how my starting on your knees, tuck your toes in, bring your hands forward you, so that when you come up, you're in plank. Shoulders over wrist, top knuckles are gripping, as if this isn't enough. You feel this, right? A little stronger in the, in the lifted version here. So just five breaths here. You can drop your knees down for just one breath and sit back on your heels. We're going to take these into pipes. So we're going to go from plank to down dog. So we're pulling ourselves in, our feet in, and it's going to be a little bit stronger. So get ready for it. And our pike, I mean, and a plank and pike and back and bring it in. Bring it in again. Woo! Two. Last one. Oh. Drop down to your heels again. How do you like this? <laughs> now we're going to come into our side plank. So we're going to roll onto our, I'm on my right hip bone. So my pinky edge of my right foot is in the bottom of my hammocks and my left foot is stacked right on top of it. My hand and my shoulder are going to be in line. Otherwise, this is your modification, staying on your forearms. So you're going to bring your hand up, 
and lift your hip up. This bottom hip is pushing your upper hip to the sky. Reach up. This right here is strong enough, but we're going to tap and up and pull. Tap and up. Three. Breathe for mobility in the shoulders. Four. And five. Turn it into that plank. And let's do five more pikes. One. Two. Three. This is a full body movement right here. Four. Don't let the hips fall. And five. And we're going to switch. So I'm dropping to my knees to make that switch. Because you know I want to be in alignment. So I don't want to switch from being lifted because I want to sit up nice and strong. And here we go. So even just doing this is strong. Patty's doing great. A lot of people the first time they sit, the silks are flying back and forth. Reach and tap and then lift and pull. We do five of these. And we come back in. Once we're in, I want you to bring one foot down and the next foot out. Ah, nice. I'm going to turn around and this way I can face you. Now we're going to take it into assisted pull-ups. So you either want to turn around and bring your mat down. It doesn't matter. Um, we're going to sit <laughs> under, our hammock, under our hammocks. Bring my hands wide and hug, like touch my chest from the inside. So my hands are not in the silks. Touch, bring them back. I'm making sure my wrist isn't wrapped up. You want to wrap your wrist up and make sure you have mobility there. And now I'm going to bring them back in and kind of jazz hands. Woo! Once my jazz hands are there, my thumbs can grab it. So my finger, pointer fingers on top. You don't want to go that high. See how nice and taut it is? So you want to go lower. And the higher it is, the harder it is. And this is hard enough. So we're coming into assisted pull-ups. So we're going to bring our hand, our feet straight forward. We're going to be on our heels or our soft feet. We're going to pull ourselves up above the silk and lower down. We're going to do it five times. On the fifth time, we're going to stretch that shoulder. So we're going to come into a uh, fish like yoga. So the soles of the feet will come down, the chest will come up, and the head will go high. Make sense? All right. So up, two, three, four, and five. Drop the feet and the head. The hands are still supporting it, but doesn't this feel lovely? And you learned it, right? You feel those pull-ups? Oh, and drop the sit bones. Nice. Release it, like don't let go of the wrap, but just release the grip for a second because we're going to do five more. You ready? And up. Two. Three. Four. Ah! Turn into a pirate and drop it back. And drop down. <sighs> We're going to stretch it out. So the beauty of these, th these um, hammocks as opposed to the silk is the versatility, like I said. So when we're working out, I always, even in my yoga, we tend to have some stretches in our warrior series. For this reason, you get um, 20 to 30% stronger faster if you stretch in the middle of working out as opposed to just at the beginning or the end. And it also keeps you injury free. So you know that means we're going to do another stretch, right? <laughs> so now we're going to come into it um, the same way. We're going to hug and come back and wrap up, but not our wrist. And then hug again. So we have it. So this one's a little looser and a little higher. So we're going to come into an up dog. So my hammock's under my anchors. I'm going to walk my feet back and I'm going to lower down the top of my feet are on the mat and I'm going to pull myself up a little bit. 
So I'm lifting as high as I can. And now I'm going to lower. Ah. And then I'm going to come all the way down. And I can release the hand. And the wrap has me. And let my head hang with my mouth open. For a great stretch. Whew. And then I can just straighten my arm, hands up, and see how, like, if you straighten your feet against the wrap, they can slide out. See how easy your hands came out? And that's that. Go ahead and step up. So, that was a bit of a good start there, right? <laughs> I like to do these before we go any further because um, they're a little hard and we want to be fresh for them. So we're going to do shin up, chin ups from here. So um, I'm grabbing them handles and my fingers are bent back facing me. I'm going to pull myself up on an exhale and I'm not going to lower down much. We're doing chin ups, not pull ups. If you can do a pull up on here, even better. Um, but I'm going to lower and lift a few times. So for these, we'll do a couple sets. So take your breath in. And come on up. Two, three, four, five. Nice. <laughs> Take a breath down. And go for round two. One, two, three, four, and five. How are your biceps feeling? <laughs> Take one more round, take one more breath before we do our third and final round. Go. Three, four, and five. Yeah, right? And then shake them little freaking arms out because all of a sudden we turn into SpongeBob. All right. So we're going to keep working up the silks. From here, we're going to take our silk and place it even with our handles. I like to place my silks inside the handles. So it's pretty high up. We're gonna stretch it out. If you're even, if you're only doing aerial yoga, or, um, this is aerial yoga actually, what we're gonna be doing next. Um, but if you're just doing aerial where you're flipping around and stuff, you really wanna stretch it out first. If you don't, you're gonna be too tight for a lot of things. All right, so we are going to come under our anchor, bring our right knee in, so that it can fall freely outside. My left foot is at 12 o'clock. My left heel stays down the entire time. I'm going to hinge forward. We're coming into warrior one. So um, my front foot is active. It's out of the seam, but my toes are reaching back at me. I'm gonna slide my hands up the back of the silks and push into them. That gives me an extra stretch. So straightening my leg a little bit, the front leg, Gives me more of a stretch than dropping it down. So I'm going with that. And of course, just deep breaths. Pressing through my back heel and back pinky. And I'm going to hinge back. Nice. Now I'm going to take that silk and bring it closer to my thigh rather than my knee. And I'm going to turn my left foot out more. And actually, I'm going to keep it by my knee and slide into warrior two. So the back heel, the back foot's at 90 degrees. The front foot is flexed and lifted. And I'm pressing through my back pinky toe, my arms reaching. So this one, you can really feel the difference on where in the thigh it stretches, right? Yeah. This is what you should feel on warrior one and warrior two. But we have a tendency to keep our hips midway when we're regularly on our mat, and this forces us into open or squared hips. Woo, pull that back. Now for the ultimate and the stretch here, we're gonna bring our big toe side of our right foot into the hammock, our left foot's still at 90 degrees, and we're gonna hinge it over, keeping the big toe down. Hinge over your hip bones. Woo, I'm so tight today. 
Bring your hands under your shoulders. Take a breath here, and then to add the stretch, we're going to walk the hands towards the hammock and press the hammock away from us. Woo! Breathe deep. Keep the standing pinky toe and edge of the foot down. And walk it back. Ay, ay, ay. Bring the heel up and turn your body facing the front of the hammocks again. Slide your hands down to your shoulder and hinge into it. Again, that back heel stays down. Lower the hands again so they're even to your shoulders. And for the stretch, pin those elbows. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, hinge the body forward. <sighs> Big breaths. <sighs> and bring it in. Wow, you felt that, right? <laughs> now we can take it out. That feels good. <laughs> Go ahead, grab a quick sip of water, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. But it's amazing how like softer this leg feels after that. Mm -hmm. The softness is not a word you're going to use while you're doing the stretches. <laughs> so we're going back into our first one. Right foot's at 11 o'clock. My thigh is in. My back heel's always grounded, and I'm just reaching and pushing, flexing my lifted foot so its toes are facing back. It's called a Dorsey flex. My sister's families are all Dorsey, so they walk around like this all the freaking time. It's crazy. They're like Barbie dolls. <laughs> Remember the Barbie dolls? Her foot was always like this. I'm like, how does she walk? <laughs> Not that I played with them. My grandmother would buy them for me, and I would put them in my yard for sale. All the time she used to get so mad. <laughs> all right, come back. Turn the right foot 90 degrees. Slide back, keeping that connection, and open up. So you're going to use your muscles of your IT bands in the inner thigh and pull this left leg out. So we square the hip. See the little bit of motion I made with that? That's all you need. Deep breaths again. And bring it in. Bring the big foot, big toe side of the foot into this silk. Extend it out and hinge down over your hips. If you're super tight, you'll use a block or something to tap into. And then walk. <laughs> that one's not the rooster, that's my thigh. <laughs> deep, deep breaths here. And walk it back, lifting up and facing our silks, hands at shoulders, hinging forward, lower the hands and squeeze in. Keeping those toes dorsi flexed. One more breath here. And bring it in. And bring that foot out. Holy macaroni. <laughs> yeah, feeling it, right? And that was not even getting into it yet. Let's get into some legs. <laughs> them chin ups are awesome, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Yeah, they were really nice. And like I said, I like to do the chin ups while we're completely fresh because they're so hard. But I said legs, let's start with the arms since we already did the chin ups. So for the arms, we're going to do um, a couple of things. Since we have the arm handles up, we're gonna use the handles. So again, I'm coming into this, I might be a little too far out. I'm gonna hinge over, my hands are in my lower handles under the hammocks, and I'm gonna hinge forward. So normally I told you do not move un away from the anchors. I've done this enough, I know how much balance it requires, and I'm gonna be out of frame. And if you knew how much I can't stand setting these frames up, <laughs> you would know why I'm not gonna to try to make that adjustment. And I'm gonna do exactly what I told you not to do. So I'm starting back here. You're starting under your anchor. You under your anchor, Patty? Yeah. 
heels stay down and I hinge forward until they come up. I'm not going all the way on my tippy toes. I'm on the ball mounts on my feet. My hands are facing each other. And I'm gonna bring them out under my shoulders. I'm turning it around and we're doing incline push-ups. Two, right? Three, four, five, and six. We're doing two more. Seven and eight. Woo. Come back out of it. <laughs> and slide forward on the ball mounts of your feet and go. Exhaling as you come up. Three. Four. set of these up. I'm telling you guys if you have TRX bands you can do all this stuff with them. This is though a lot stronger because we have no resistance we just have material. So always whenever you do these it's all core. <sighs> Move my core. Move my core. Three. blocking you unfortunately Good. no that's how bad I am with these things all right so now we're coming into pull-ups again so we're turning our hands facing us we're underneath our hammock anchors and we're gonna hinge back Whew. fingers are facing me heels are down toes are up and I'm pulling myself up I'm not going 100% down like 95% Exhale as you come up. One more. Nice. These things are awesome. I should take the handles off so you can see, but we're going to be using them very soon. So, um, there's so many things to do. If you guys like the aerial workouts, let me know. I will add more because we can probably do seven or eight fully, completely different workouts on these things. Um, let's go for our second one. And up. Three more. So we're doing reps of eight today, but like I said, we really want to dig in for our last three. So if that's four, then that's four. We don't want to get sloppy. We want to get strong. <laughs> this weekend was Memorial Day weekend, and even though we were still on curfew, I believe a lot of people got sloppy. <laughs> now it's time to change that. Come back. Set number three. Let's go. Up. Slowing it down. I took off a little quick. I used a little bit of momentum. I don't want to do that. And that's why we're not going all the way down. If we stop slightly before that, it's impossible. All right. So we did the pull-ups, the reverse, the inclined push-ups, or the chin-ups, the inclined push-ups, and the pull-ups. So there's your three for your arms that we're going to start with. And let's get into some legs. <laughs> um, one of the things I really like, and we do these sometimes in the full body classes, uh, are the um, pistol sit-ups, or pistol squats. 
So they're the one-legged squats. So we get to have a little bit of a help, a little bit of a cheat here. So we're going to do one-legged squats, but we're going to do it using our handles. You don't need to take off your hammock. I'm just doing that since I'm blocking myself. I kind of wanted to... I like to be in block. <laughs> but, so my hands are here. I'm going to get down in my squat, and I'm going to come down and pull myself up. Ready? Yeah. So my fingers are facing each other. Five. Six. Seven. Really push off on that standing foot. Your hands are there to help you, but not to do the majority of the work. So we really want to lower and then lift off on the standing foot. So switch sides. Open up a little, get into that squat, and go. Again, exhaling up. Not lowering too much. And eight. Take a sip of water. We haven't been doing enough of that. <sighs> Cheers to that. All right. Round two. Lower down. Push the foot to lift. Definitely feel this in my quads. Switching legs. And eight. Oh my gosh. Can't that be all for legs? <laughs> Take another sip. <sighs> all right. Round two. Ready? Here we go. foot you guys got this oh and if you don't have this system Look back on the video where I showed you how to tie a scarf, put two knots in it, and shut it over the door. You can do most of this with that. But you're probably looking at us and saying, why the freak would you want to? <laughs> All right. Round three, get into it fresh. Take another breath first. That's set. Finishing it up. One 
anymore, guys. Oh, oh lordy, lordy. Oh. Yeah. This wasn't actually even the plan this morning. We were just going to have fun and flip around. I'm sweating like these. <laughs> But the flipping around is going to be extra fun now. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to do our legs. If you do are using the towels, you can definitely do this in the towel. But I'm not going to readjust all of this right now when it's simple, much simpler to use my hammock. We're going to do lunges. I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to bring my foot into the silk top of the foot in the silk left foot is forward I'm going to lunge down and then pull my right knee in extend my right leg back and then lift up yep down in out and up two three four hopefully you guys can see what we're doing Five, six, woo, seven, feel this in your left glute, don't you? Yeah. And eight. Ah. All right, guys, yeah, you can see that. Switch sides. Hear that lovely bird? Bring the top of the left foot in and lunge. Pull the left knee in, extend it back, and lift. Down, in, out, and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pop out of that. Take another sip of water. How you feeling? <laughs> hmm. uh, it's a lovely day in the neighborhood. You guys ready? Round two? Ready? Right foot in. Do the hokey pokey. Shake it all down. <laughs> Don't shake anything. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it would be a good combo right now. No. <laughs> All right, there we go. Down, in and out, and up. Two. You can do running in to move your arms like that. <laughs> trying to get somewhere. You can do this with the chair in front of you. Hold the back of the chair. Breathing challenge. Woo! Oh, you can come cheer. <laughs> oh, it's been going too fast. Alrighty. Other side. Down. Pull it in. And up. Zoom it out. Pull it out any day of the week. Three more guys. Woo. All right. Holy crap. I'm blinded by my own sweat. <laughs> it's so humid. It's so humid. <sighs> Again, it may sound like complaining, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> or you're not. It keeps being in the cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had snow in Wisconsin like 10 days ago. Hmm. Alright guys, we are on our third round. 
Your legs should be feeling it. Your legs feeling it? Yes, definitely. <laughs> huh. Let's get it out of the way. So down, in, out, in, up. Two. Pushing up on that standing foot. Making sure the foot's not flat. We're pushing through our toes and our heels so our arches are lift. It lifted. <laughs> Give me a bonus. This is one. Over here where it's green. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Other side. <laughs> Bring that leg in. Two. have one more legs to go and I know I did this one before in one of our classes where we used just the handles but I really like it and we're gonna do it again <laughs> we're gonna do jumping squats so your handles are gonna help you a little bit you're gonna try to get some hang time in the handles so we're coming down and up Actually, I'm gonna bring my handles down one. You might want to too, Patty, because we're close to the same height. And this is why I love these better than silk. Silks are beautiful to perform in. You can't move them that quickly. <laughs> All right, guys. Grab a sip of water. And get ready for the hang time. Squat jumps. So handles are pushing down in your squat. Lift. Two. Three. Four. Straighten those arms. Six. Pull those knees up. Seven. Eight. <sighs> Jiggly. They're good, right? Once you get that hang time and you're pulling those knees up. I don't know. My quads are shaking in them. And you get the arms in there too by straining them. So it's a little act now and get this free kind of deal. And who doesn't like a bargain? Ready, Freddy? And all the rest of you? Go. One, two, three, four, five, ah. Oh, shit, Sam. Shake it out. Probably well, we have one more. And then we get to go into our abs. <laughs> your abs are blessed. You'll get to put your legs straight in the shots. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Last eight. And go. Take the handles off for abs. We don't need them. We do need to make sure our silks are above our hip bones. So both of us are a little bit too short to do this on our own. A handy step stool for that. Oh, yeah. And our abs. Actually, we will use our handles, but we'll do them ones less. So, you know what? Let's do the handles first, even though we just took them off, because we can get them off and take them off. Okay. And at the end, we'll get to flip around once or twice. Okay. So, 
you keep the, the, as you can see, the hammock needs to be above the hip bone, so the top of it may not be even, but you do always want your handles to be even. So we're keeping the handles equal to the lower hammock. Always make sure that your clip is inside, not outside the little loop, loop-de-loop. -loop. So what we're going to do first, while we're using our handles, oh, you're going to kill me because the handles have to come down one more for this one. Okay, good. So we want them actually one below. So just on the second from the bottom knot, so we can use this good height. So, you know, in the gym where you have that machine where you can um, put your forearms down, we're going to do something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to hug around and bring our hands together at our heart, lifting up, so we're going to keep it low, lifting so hands together as the heart and bringing our hands in here to the handles and you can grab these. Now you can grab the top handles. So you have a little bit more support with your arms this way. Not a lot, but enough. And then we're going to lift up and extend the legs. One, two, three, four, yup. Six, seven, and eight. Woo. Oh. <laughs> the circus act uh, ab. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of fun because you're floating around while you do it, and it's really hard. So just getting done is good. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go too. <laughs> Three. That's all right. Take your break and jump back in. Four. Seven and eight. Woo! Believe me, two of Your these. Your abs kill me. Your abs. Kill me. <laughs> you would think I'd have better abs, wouldn't you? <laughs> the problem is, I go from here and eat a cookie the size of my head. It's not a problem. It's how I like to live. <laughs> I like to be the dark horse. You don't know how strong I actually am. <laughs> Under this protective layer. Last set. I love Peg. She looks like a minion from Despicable Me. <laughs> always happy, but always up to something. <laughs> All right. Round two of abs. Bring your arms through the back this time and hold them at your shoulders. Lean back so it feels like a backpack. Bring your hands and push them out of your underarms. Bring your heels forward. Keep your knees bent and pull them up. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Woo! And then you can go out of it for a breath. Woo! Stretch out of it. Hang out of it. Much easier than the first one. Yes. So if we did much these ones easier. first, you'd be like, these suck. <laughs> it's all perspective. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> and lift. Three. Hanging crunches. Hey. Hey. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, definitely not like, oh, let's just zip right through these still, right? All right, we only have one more set to go. And here it is. Keep 
holding his heels forward and he's all right and now some sit-ups all righty this is the last thing we have to do um if you have these you should already know how to get in and out of them and we said to pan yeah yeah my body's worked so we just learned this thumbs in fingers out elbows in under your anchor breathe in as you exhale push down and hop up making sure that your thumbs are past your hips hands come together above your head and open to the outside you have this nice extra in the back grab the silks and not the ropes hold them down by your shoulders open your legs wider than the silk fall back when your feet reach the other side bring them together now you can straighten your legs we don't normally do this because you can slide out but we're using so much core we're not going to slide out and crunch up so sit up oh, <laughs> Boy, this is rocky style <laughs> so, hey but just think that poor man had to do with freaking giant dead carcasses of meat get the blood to regulate so we're going to bring our feet together reach under our feet our knees and sit up for a breath <laughs> right didn't he do that in the meat house i don't remember Neither do I, but it's worth re re watching. <laughs> All right. Down we go. Round two. Feet together. Drop down and then straighten the leg and sit up. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! Slide them down and come back up. Oh, lordy, lordy. I say, look who's 40, but we're both over 50. <laughs> <laughs> over 50. Oh. So how do you feel now if you're struggling at 20? <laughs> it's nice. I used to teach college wrestlers, D1 wrestling program, and sometimes they wouldn't do that. I'm like, don't let the old lady up front embarrass you. <laughs> I am not embarrassing anyone, but it's just motivation. It's just awesome to know age is not a factor determination is oh that was that was deep that was deep. Like that. That's really <laughs> let's go for our third and final round ah oh, splash myself with sweat one Fun as we did, and I'll see you tomorrow.